Have you ever looked back on your life and felt you've wasted years? Maybe it was because of wrong choices, missed opportunities, circumstances beyond your control, or a relationship that faded away. It's a familiar feeling. These lost years can leave us feeling regretful and hopeless, but there's good news. God promises to restore all your wasted years. Let's explore this hopeful message and understand how it applies to your life. Today, we're diving into wasted years and the possibility of God restoring what was lost. Many people carry the weight of regret for past mistakes or choices that led to what they perceive as wasted time. But is it possible for God to redeem those years? Keep watching and get ready to be amazed. I have undeniable signs that God is about to turn your wasted years into something extraordinary. Wasted years can take many forms. They might be time spent in a bad relationship, years lost to addiction, or periods of drifting away from your purpose. Sometimes they're due to external factors like job loss, illness, or other unforeseen events. Whatever the reason, these years can feel like they've slipped through our fingers, leaving us with a sense of loss. The Bible offers a powerful promise in Joel 2.25, where God says, I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten. This verse assures us that God can bring back the lost time and make something beautiful out of it. Restoration doesn't necessarily mean we get back the exact things we lost. Instead, it means God can bring new opportunities, blessings, and growth that make up for those lost years. It's easy to feel hopeless when thinking about wasted years. But God's promise of restoration is a reason for hope. Here are some ways to embrace this hope. 1. Trust in God's plan. Believe that God has a plan for you and that even your wasted years are part of that plan. Trust that He can turn things around for your good. 2. Stay positive. Keep a positive outlook. Stay positive, outless on the future rather than dwelling on the past. Remember that, with God, there's always hope for a better tomorrow. 3. Take action. While trusting in God, take practical steps to move forward. This might mean seeking new opportunities, making amends, or pursuing personal growth. 4. Pray for guidance. Prayer is a powerful tool. Ask God for guidance, strength, and the wisdom to see and seize the opportunities He places before you. Consider the story of Joseph in the Bible. He faced many wasted years, including being sold into slavery and unjustly imprisoned. Yet God restored those years and elevated him to significant influence in Egypt. Similarly, in our lives, God can turn our darkest times into moments of transformation and blessing. Another example is the story of Job, who lost everything but remained faithful. Ultimately, God restored Job's fortunes, giving him twice as much as before. Looking back on wasted years can be a profoundly emotional and challenging experience. Many people grapple with feelings and thoughts that can make it difficult to move forward. Let's explore some everyday struggles and challenges people face when reflecting on these periods of their lives. 1. Regret One of the most common feelings is regret. People often think about the what-ifs and could-have-beens. They regret the choices they made or the opportunities they missed. This feeling can be overwhelming and lead to a sense of despair. 2. Guilt Along with regret, there is often a strong sense of guilt. People might feel guilty for not making better decisions or their choices impact on themselves and others. This guilt can be paralyzing and prevent them from moving forward. 3. Fear of repeating mistakes. When people look back on wasted years, they often fear making the same mistakes again. This fear can be so intense that it stops them from taking risks or trying new things. 4. Fear of judgment. 
Some people also fear being judged by others for past mistakes. This fear can lead to isolation and a reluctance to share their experiences or seek help. 5. Loss of time. A profound sense of loss, especially the feeling of lost time, is common. People lament the years they can never get back, feeling like they have fallen behind. 6. Loss of opportunities. People often dwell on the missed opportunities in their careers, education, relationships, or personal growth. This sense of lost potential can be very discouraging. 7. Depression and anxiety. Reflecting on wasted years can trigger or exacerbate mental health problems like depression and anxiety. The weight of regret, guilt, and fear can be mentally exhausting and emotionally draining. 8. Low self-esteem. People often struggle with low self-esteem and self-worth. They might view themselves as failures or feel undeserving of a second chance. 9. Inertia. The combination of regret, guilt, and fear can create a state of inertia where people find it hard to take the first step towards change. They may feel stuck in their past, unable to move forward. 10. Lack of direction. People might need help finding direction or purpose after wasting years. They may need clarification on what they want or how to achieve it, leading to confusion and indecision. While these struggles are significant, it's essential to recognize that they are not insurmountable. Here are some ways to overcome these challenges. 1. Seek forgiveness. Forgiving oneself is crucial. Understand that everyone makes mistakes and that learning and growing from them is possible. Seeking forgiveness from others, if necessary, can also help heal old wounds. 2. Embrace the present. Focus on the present moment rather than dwelling on the past. Practicing mindfulness can help people appreciate and make the most of what they have now. 3. Set small goals. Setting achievable, short-term goals can help build momentum and provide a sense of accomplishment which can gradually lead to more significant successes. 4. Find support. Connecting with supportive friends, family, or community can provide encouragement and perspective. Sometimes, professional help from a therapist or counselor is needed to navigate these complex emotions. 5. Trust in a God. Trusting in God's plan and seeking His guidance can provide comfort and direction. Believing in divine restoration can inspire hope and motivation. 6. Learn and grow. Use past experiences as lessons. Reflect on what went wrong, why, what was learned, and how it can be applied moving forward. 7. Take action. Overcoming inertia requires action, even in small steps. Taking proactive steps toward personal growth and improvement can slowly but surely lead to significant changes. Isaiah 61 7. Instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion, and instead of disgrace, you will rejoice in your inheritance. And so you will inherit a double portion in your land, and everlasting joy will be yours. These verses remind us of God's promise to restore and bless us abundantly, even after seasons of loss or hardship. Here are 10 signs that may indicate God is restoring the wasted years in your life. When reflecting on wasted years, it's uplifting to recognize the signs that God is working to restore them. Here are 10 signs indicating God is actively restoring the lost time and bringing new hope and purpose into your life. 1. Healing of Past Wounds One of the most profound signs of restoration is healing past wounds. You might find that old emotional, mental, or physical hurts begin to heal. You feel a sense of peace and forgiveness towards those who may have hurt you and towards yourself for any past mistakes. God can heal our wounds and help us forgive ourselves and others. 
This healing process frees us from the past and allows us to move forward. 2. New Opportunities God often brings new opportunities. God often brings new opportunities when he restores wasted years. These could be new jobs, educational opportunities, or personal projects that align with your passions and talents. God opens new doors. These might be relationships or chances to pursue passions and dreams we once had to set aside. These opportunities help you move forward and build a better future. 3. Renewed Relationships Restoration can manifest through the mending of broken relationships. You may notice a renewal in family ties, friendships, or even new relationships that positively influence your life. Reconciliation and new connections are signs that God is working to restore relational aspects of your life. 4. Growth in Faith A deepening of your faith and spiritual growth is a significant sign. You might be more engaged in prayer, reading scripture, and feeling closer to God. This spiritual growth provides the strength and guidance needed to move forward and make the most of new opportunities. Through restoration, we often find that we grow stronger and wiser. Even painful experiences can teach us lessons and build our character. 5. Increased sense of purpose. When God restores wasted years, people often experience a renewed sense of purpose. They gain clarity about their goals and what they're meant to do. The sense of direction helps them focus on what truly matters. Sometimes, wasted years can lead us to a renewed sense of purpose. God can guide us to discover or rediscover our true calling, leading us to a more fulfilling life. 6. Positive Changes in Behavior You may notice changes in your behavior and habits that reflect a healthier, more positive lifestyle. This might include overcoming addictions, adopting better habits and making choices that align with your values and goals. These changes indicate personal growth and God's transformative work in your life. 7. Inner Peace and Joy Experiencing inner peace and joy, regardless of external circumstances, is a vital sign of restoration. You feel content and optimistic about the future, trusting that God is in control and that everything works for your good. 8. Supportive Community God often brings supportive people into your life during restoration, whether through church, support groups, or friendships. These individuals provide encouragement, advice, and companionship. A strong support system is crucial for overcoming past challenges and embracing a brighter future. 9. Unexplained Favor and Blessings Sometimes, God's restoration comes in the form of unexpected blessings and favor. This could be financial breakthroughs, health improvements, or other unmerited favors that seem to come at the right time. These blessings remind you that God is looking out for you. 10. Newfound Creativity and Passion A surge in creativity and passion for life can signify that God is restoring your wasted years. You might discover new hobbies, talents, or interests that bring you joy and fulfillment. This renewed zest for life indicates that God is breathing new life into your journey. Recognizing these signs can provide immense encouragement and hope. Here are a few ways to embrace and nurture these signs of restoration. 1. Stay connected to God. Maintain a close relationship with God through prayer, worship, and reading the Bible. This connection helps you stay attuned to His guidance and blessings. 2. Be open to change. Embrace new opportunities and changes with an open heart. Trust that God's plans for you are good and that He leads you toward a better future. 3. Practice gratitude. Cultivate gratitude for your life's positive changes and blessings. Thanking God for His work can deepen your faith and joy. 4. Seek support. Surround yourself with fellow believers in the church who encourage and uplift you. 5. 
Reflect and learn. Reflect on your journey and your lessons. Understanding how far you've come can provide motivation and insight for the future. The signs of God's restoration are clear indicators of hope and renewal. Here's how to embrace this message. Trust in God's plan. Believe that God has a plan for your life and that even your wasted years are part of that plan. Trust that He is working to turn things around for your good. Embrace new beginnings. Be open to the new opportunities and changes that come your way. Embrace them with an open heart, knowing they are part of God's restorative work. Cultivate gratitude. Practice gratitude for the positive changes and blessings you receive. Thanking God for His work in your life can deepen your faith and joy. Stay connected to God. Maintain a close relationship with God through prayer, worship, and reading the Bible. This connection helps you stay attuned to His guidance and blessings. Seek support. Surround yourself with a group of Christian believers that encourages and uplifts you. Share your journey with trusted friends or pastor who can offer wisdom and guidance. One of the most impactful and often surprising signs that God is restoring your wasted years is the experience of unexplained favor and blessings. This sign stands out because it demonstrates God's active presence and intervention in your life in ways beyond human explanation or expectation. One unexpected breakthroughs. You might receive financial help, job offers, or opportunities that come out of nowhere. These breakthroughs often occur at the most critical times, providing precisely what you need when you need it most. They serve as powerful reminders that God is aware of your situation and is working behind the scenes to bring about positive change. 2. Divine Appointments Sometimes you meet the right people at the right time, leading to significant positive changes in your life. These encounters can open doors you never imagined and provide guidance and support that propel you forward. 3. Miraculous Provision Whether it's health improvements, unexpected financial support, or other forms of provision, these blessings seem to come from a place of divine intervention. They show that God actively cares for your needs and can provide in ways that surpass your understanding. 4. Favor in unlikely places. Experiencing favor in places where you least expect it, such as a job promotion, despite difficult circumstances or kindness from strangers, can be incredibly uplifting. This favor reassures you that human logic or circumstances do not limit God's grace. This sign is impactful because it directly counters feelings of despair and hopelessness. When you experience blessings and favor that cannot be easily explained, it's a powerful testament to God's active role in your life. It reinforces the belief that God is aware of your struggles and intimately involved in your restoration process. Jeremiah 30:17 but I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord, because you are called an outcast, Zion, for whom no one cares. This verse reassures us that God is committed to restoring and healing us, no matter how lost or abandoned we may feel. Unexplained favor and blessings are a powerful sign of God's restorative work in your life. These experiences provide evidence of His active presence and care, offering hope and reassurance that your wasted years are being redeemed. By embracing this sign, you can strengthen your faith, cultivate gratitude, and maintain an expectant and hopeful heart for the future. Join me in prayer, dear Heavenly Father. I come before you with a humble heart, grateful for your unending love and mercy. Today, I lift my voice in prayer seeking your guidance and grace as I reflect on the years that feel wasted. Father, I trust in your promise of restoration and ask that you heal the wounds of my past and bring new hope into my life. Lord, I confess that there are moments when regret and guilt overwhelm me. 
The choices I made, the opportunities I missed, and the time that slipped away weigh heavily on my heart. I ask for your forgiveness, Father. Help me to forgive myself and others who may have caused me pain. Cleanse my heart from the bitterness and regret that hinder my growth and draw me closer to your loving embrace. Heavenly Father, I pray for the healing of my past wounds. You know every hurt, every tear, and every moment of despair. I ask that you heal my heart and bring peace to my troubled mind. Help me to release the pain and find comfort in your presence. I trust that your healing power can restore my soul and renew my spirit. Lord, I am grateful for the new opportunities you place before me. Open my eyes to see the doors you are opening and give me the courage to walk through them. Whether it's a new job, a chance to further my education or a personal project, I pray for your guidance. Help me to align my passions and talents with your will and to seize these opportunities with faith and determination. Father, I pray for the renewal of relationships in my life. Bring reconciliation where there has been discord and healing, where there has been hurt. Help me to nurture and cherish the relationships that bring positivity and love into my life. Surround me with people who support and encourage me and remove those who may hinder my growth. Strengthen the bonds with my family and friends and bless me with new connections that reflect your love and grace. Lord, deepen my faith and draw me closer to you. In times of doubt and fear, remind me of your promises and unwavering presence. Help me to grow spiritually. Engage more in prayer, read your word, and seek your guidance in every aspect of my life. Strengthen my trust in you, and let my faith be a beacon of hope and light to those around me. Father, I seek a renewed sense of purpose. Reveal the path you have set before me, and fill my heart with clarity and direction. Help me to understand my goals, and to pursue them with passion and determination. Let my life be a testament to your grace and mercy and guide me to fulfill the purpose you have for me. Lord Jesus, I pray for positive changes in my behavior and habits. Help me to overcome any addictions or negative patterns that have held me back. Give me the strength to adopt healthier habits and to make choices that reflect your values. Transform my life to honor you and bring glory to your name. Father, grant me inner peace and joy that surpasses all understanding. During trials and challenges, let your peace fill my heart and your joy uplift my spirit. Help me trust your plan and remain optimistic about the future. Remind me that with you, there is always a reason to rejoice. Lord, bless me with a supportive community. Surround me with people who uplift, encourage, and guide me. Let me find solace in the companionship of others who share my faith and values. Help me to be a source of support and encouragement to them, fostering a community built on love and mutual respect. Father, I am grateful for the unexplained favor and blessings you bestow upon me. Help me to recognize these blessings, big and small, and to give thanks for them daily. Let your favor remind me of your constant presence in my life and unfailing love. Lord, ignite a newfound creativity and passion within me. Help me to discover new hobbies, talents, and interests that bring joy and fulfillment. Let this renewed zest for life be a testament to your restorative power and a source of inspiration to others. Heavenly Father, I place my trust in you. I believe in your promise to restore the wasted years and to bring beauty from the ashes of my past. Guide me, protect me, and fill my heart with hope and joy. Let my life reflect your love and a testament to your grace. Thank you, Lord, 
for hearing my prayer. I trust in your timing and your plan. I am grateful for the restoration you are bringing into my life and the future filled with purpose and fulfillment that lies ahead. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Recognizing the signs of God's restoration brings hope and renewal. It's a reminder that no matter what has happened in your past, God can bring healing, new opportunities, and a renewed sense of purpose into your life. Trust in His promise to restore the wasted years and look forward to the excellent plans He has for you. With faith and perseverance, you can move forward with hope, embracing a future filled with joy, purpose, and fulfillment. The process of restoration is a journey filled with hope and transformation. By recognizing the signs that God is at work in your life, you can find encouragement and strength to move forward. Trust in His promise to restore the wasted years and embrace the new opportunities, relationships, and growth that come your way. With faith and perseverance, you can look forward to a future filled with purpose, joy, and fulfillment. Reflecting on wasted years can bring about many emotional and mental challenges, but it also presents an opportunity for growth and transformation. By acknowledging these struggles and taking steps to overcome them, people can move forward with renewed hope and purpose. Remember, there is always time to turn things around. The future can be brighter than ever imagined with determination, support, and faith. God's promise to restore our wasted years is a powerful message of hope. No matter what has happened in your past, God can bring new opportunities, healing, and a renewed sense of purpose. Trust in His plan, stay positive, take action, and pray for guidance. Your wasted years are not the end of the story. With God, the best is yet to come. There is always time for a fresh start. God's love and grace can transform your life, making the future brighter than you ever imagined. Embrace the promise of restoration and look forward to God's beautiful plans for you. Looking back on our lives, it's easy to see the struggles and challenges that can arise from feeling like we've wasted precious time. Regret, self-doubt, and a sense of missed opportunities can cloud our vision for the future. How do we move forward from this place of stagnation and disappointment? Let's explore 10 signs indicating God is at work, orchestrating a restoration of the wasted years in our lives. From unexpected opportunities to renewed relationships, these signs offer a glimmer of hope during perceived loss. Could it be that God has a plan to bring beauty from ashes? One of the most impactful signs of God's restoration is the transformation of our hearts. When we allow God to work in us, healing our wounds and renewing our spirits, we open ourselves to a future filled with promise and purpose. It's a powerful reminder that nothing is beyond redemption in the hands of a loving God. As we reflect on these 10 signs of restoration, may we be encouraged to believe that our wasted years are not in vain. God's faithfulness knows no bounds, and His promise of renewal extends to every area of our lives. Let's hold on to hope and trust that God is working all things together for our good. We all have stories of challenges, lost time, and wasted years, but through these experiences, we often see the most powerful examples of God's restoration. If you've seen signs of God restoring your life, we'd love to hear your story. Your testimony can inspire and provide hope for others who are going through similar struggles. Please share your stories of restoration in the comments below. Let's create a community of support and encouragement where we can uplift each other with our experiences of God's grace and mercy. If you find this video encouraging, subscribe to our channel, Daily Grace Inspiration, and share it with your friends and family to uplift them in the Lord. We regularly share inspirational content to help you on your spiritual journey. By subscribing, 
you'll stay connected and never miss an update. Continue to grow in faith, find hope in challenging times, and celebrate God's beautiful work. If you haven't received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and if you feel a stirring in your heart today, know that it's Jesus calling you to a life filled with hope, love, and purpose. He sees you, knows you, and loves you deeply. No matter where you've been or what you've done, His grace is sufficient and His arms are open wide to welcome you home. This moment is an invitation to experience a personal relationship with Jesus. Set free from guilt, shame, and fear, and step into the abundant life He promises. If you're ready to begin this incredible journey, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you do, pray this salvation prayer. Dear Jesus, I come to you just as I am. I know that I have sinned and fallen short of your glory but I believe that you died for my sins and rose again so that I might have eternal life. I ask for your forgiveness and invite you into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Guide me, help me to live for you, and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your love, mercy, and the gift of salvation. In your name, I pray. Amen. If you pray this prayer, attend church regularly, to learn about new life and grow closer to God. Let us know if you have any prayer requests so we can pray to God.